Hey there. Today, let's talk about motivation and time management. Okay, but first, it is Stat That with Stat Girl. <laughs> That's fun, right? Hey, le let me know if you like that or not. And I'll keep it in if you do, but if not, I'll take it out. Okay, here's the stat. Did you know that according to the latest research, that only 71% say that they are not engaged in their work and that the reality is that if you are motivated, you'll be 43% more productive? That's a pretty interesting stat. So motivation is something that everyone struggles with on a daily basis. Getting things done, well, it's very difficult when the proper motivation is not present. Getting motivated can be hard. And without this motivation, there is no way to manage your time efficiently. So in my experience, I have found that there are about five reasons why people are not motivated. So let me tell you what they are. Number one, they don't know what they want or they, they make lack of motivation part of their identity or their goals are not set high enough, or it doesn't excite them. Number four would be they feel overwhelmed. And number five, well, they're prone to procrastinate. So when I find that I'm lacking motivation to get something done, I sit down and I ask myself, what is the reason that I'm not moving forward on something that I had planned to do? Sometimes I just decide that it's not something that I want to continue with and I cancel the project. No, that's not giving up and that's not admitting to failure, like so many think. No, it is just an adjustment based on the knowledge that I now have that maybe I didn't have when I set that goal up. So it's, it's okay to change your mind. But by far the biggest reason that I have found with working with so many people is that the goal is either not clear or it does not resonate with them. Let me give you an example. When I was working with someone and you know we had a conversation about how she was struggling and frustrated and not getting things done that she wanted to do, she just didn't feel motivated. So then we talked about her whys and that revealed that she was lacking motivation because the reason to do something. So let's talk about that. When, when you are working on a goal or a target, the first thing you need is to understand what is the reason to do it. Just stop and simply ask about that why. Why do you want to do it? Why did you set that goal? You know, this is a, a very important step because you need to know if you're doing something for yourself or if you're doing it for someone else, you know, then it's a different motivation. You know, I have set a ton of goals in my life and, and there are a lot that I never accomplished. And when I do a quick review and I look back, I notice just about every time that it was a goal that I set without a lot of thought or my heart just wasn't in it, you know, there's those type of goals that just don't give us the motivation to do it. So if you're finding that you're not motivated to get something done that you have on your to-do list, you might be frustrated because you're not getting the results. So I want to ask you to stop, give yourself a break first off, and then think about your reasons for that goal. Then once you have you know, your thoughts about the reasons, then take some time, sit down and write down your goal again. Write, write out your reasons that, that you want to accomplish that goal. You know, this is very powerful because then when you're lacking motivation, you can quickly look at that and say, oh, this is why I want to do it. And then that gives you momentum to get that motivation started again. However, if you sit down and decide that this goal is no longer a desire, then ask yourself why. Now, do some self-review. And if you are then convinced that this goal is no longer 
important to you, then simply cancel it. However, I do want to caution you here. Sometimes it's easy to say, oh, that, that goal is no longer important. And you use that as an excuse because perhaps you have some fear or doubts about that goal. So really sit down and find out why you made that goal to begin with. What were the reasons behind it? And then decide if it's still a goal that you want to do. Once you put some thought into it, write it down. Read it every day if you need to, to get yourself motivated. Keep yourself motivated. And that's completely going to change how you're showing up on your journey. So I want to encourage you to go through this practice and do that. Please don't skip it because it is a powerful step. And think about you won't be wasting your time anymore. Okay, so that's a wrap for today's video. Hey, post in the comments below. Let us know what you're struggling with. You know, what is your goal and what's your motivation? Or why are you lacking motivation? And by the way, I want to tell you, I have a three-day um, time freedom challenge coming up. So please stand by. I'm going to be making that announcement pretty soon. Okay, sisters, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.